we have two problems here and we need to factorize them by regrouping. When you have something like this, say 4b, 4 and b are the factors of 4b. Similarly, if you have xy, x and y are the factors of xy. Similarly, when you see something like this, say 2 times p plus 1, this expression would be 2p plus 2. Then you can say that 2 and p plus 1 are the factors of 2p plus 2. Now, in the same way, we have a little larger expression here which we need to factorize and we are going to group two terms at a time to factorize them. Let's see how. Let us see the first two terms of this first expression. The first two terms are 3mp minus 10. The first thing that we need to do or that we need to understand is whether there are any common factors between 3, 3mp and minus 10. 10 can be written as 5 times 2 and 3mp can be written as 3 times m times p. We don't really see any common factors. Alright, that's fine. Now we will look at the other two terms. Let us see whether there are any common factors between 2p and 15m. 2p can be written as 2 times p and 15m can be written as 15 times m whereas this 15 can also be written as 5 times 3 times m. But 2 and p and here is 5, 3 and m, we do not really see any common factors. Now our job is to see whether if we write the same expression by rearranging the terms and then grouping, will we see any common factors? Let us see. So 3m was paired with minus 10. Let us try and pair it with 2p or minus 15m. Because we see m and m here, we also know 15 has a factor 3. So I conveniently can put 3mp minus 15m together and then I'll write 2p plus 2p minus 10. Now let us try and regroup. So let us say 3mp minus 15m. Let us see whether there are any common factors now. So I am going to look at 3mp. The factors are 3m times p. And for 15m, the factors are 3, 5 and m. Are there any common factors? Yes, 3 and m and 3 and m here. So that's, that's a great news for us. We can factorize these two terms. Now let's look at the other two terms, 2p and minus 10. Let's see whether we have any common factors there. Let me erase the first part. So 2p can be written as 2 times p and 10 can be written as 2 times 5. Do we see any common factors? Yes, 2 is a common factor in both the terms. Now, let us write these two in the factorized form. So, if I want to write these as, so forget about this particular equation now. I am just going to write the equation in purple. So, 3mp, 3mp minus, I can write 3m times 5, right? So, 15m is just written as 3m times 5 because I know 3m is a factor that's also present in the first term. Can I write 2p and then I'll write minus 2 times 5. Now, what I will do is I will take out 3m as a common factor for, for the first two terms and I will write 3m and I will write 3m outside the bracket and inside the bracket, I will write this p here. And then because I have taken out 3m, we'll put this negative sign as it is. 3m is outside and we are left with 5 here. So basically what we have done is we have written 3mp minus 15m as 3m times in bracket p times p minus 5 plus. Now we will take 2 common outside the bracket again. And then we are left with this p, the negative sign and the 5. So this 5 will come here. So now we have written 3mp minus 15m plus 2p minus 10 as 3m times p minus 5 plus 2 times p minus 5. Now we see a, now we see a very interesting thing. This is one term and this is another term. These are now the single terms because they are only separated by a single sign. So do we see any common factors between this term and this term, the first and the second? I do. 
p minus 5 is a common factor in both the terms. Can I now take that p minus 5 outside and write everything else? Yes, I can. So, what I will do is I will put the equal sign again. We will bring p minus 5 only outside. I will put a large bracket now. Now, if we take out p minus 5 outside, we are just left with 3m. I will write that. So, this is 3m. And when I took out p minus 5 outside the bracket, we are left with 2. But what is the sign in between? The sign is going to be plus. I can put a smaller bracket actually. So, this is what I get. If I write it nicely, I get p minus 5 times 3m plus 2. Now, we got the expression in some factor A times factor B. So, the first factor is p minus 5 and the other factor is 3m plus 2. And therefore, we have factorized 3mp minus 10 plus 2p minus 15m into its factorized form by regrouping the terms in the original one. And this is exactly what we need to do. Now, let us look at the second example. Pause here for one second. Look at the terms and try to solve the second equation. Try to solve the second expression or factorize the second expression with me. Let's go. Now again here, we just are interested in the green expression here. So we will just write that. I will write it again. So xy plus 3y minus 2x minus 6. Now let's again check whether do we have any common factors in the first two terms. So, y is a common factor that I see in the first two terms. What about the second set? Do we have any common factors? So, 2x can be written as 2 times x and 6 can be written as 2 times 3. So, 2 is a common factor here. So, without even regrouping. So, here we won't need to regroup the terms in order to factorize it. And we can simply have the same groups. If we were to regroup, we could have written it in any other form. But now we really don't need to. And let us take out y as a factor outside for the first two terms. So if I, if I write y outside the bracket, inside the bracket, I am only left with this x. And then I am only left with this 3 with a positive sign in between them. What about minus 2x and minus 6? If I have to write minus 2x, I can write it as minus time minus 2 times x and minus 6 can be written as minus 2 times 3. So I can take out this minus 2 outside. Let me write it that way. So minus 2 will be outside the bracket and then I am only left with x. And if I write minus 6 as minus 2 times 3, I am only left with the positive 3. Remember, many students make this mistake that when they take out a negative number outside the bracket, they keep the negative sign. But since we have taken out the negative factor, the sign of the positive factor will remain. You can cross check by multiplying it again. So minus 2 times in bracket x plus 3 actually gives us minus 2 times x, which is minus 2x. And this minus 2 times plus 3, which is minus 6. We get the same thing. So if you had written minus here, so, if you had written minus 2 times x minus 3, it would be minus 2x plus 6, which is not what we have. And that's exactly why we need to have a positive sign here. Now, do we see any common factors between this term and this term? Yes, we do. This beautiful x plus 3 is common in both the terms, which is a great news for us. Let me put an equal sign here. So, let's just use this yellow color continue with the yellow color and we will write x plus 3 which is a common factor for both the terms outside some bracket and now let's fill up this bracket when you take out this x plus 3 outside the bracket we are left with y this is the y that we have and now we also take x plus 3 outside and we are just left with this minus 2 i keep on putting that bracket far away so let me just Put it like this and then we can write it nicely with the round bracket x plus 3 times y minus 2. And so here again, we have written xy plus 3y minus 2x. Let me write 3 nicely, 
2 minus 2x minus 6 in its factorized form which is x plus 3 times y minus 2 and that's a factorized form while you do not always need to regroup the terms to factorize but remember like we did it in the first problem sometimes you do not really find common factors in the first two terms or the last two terms you have to regroup the terms and then factorization is possible and when you regroup and then factorize it's simply known as factorization by regrouping